There's not a single chat. Not a single Sigma male even. Not a single weep that hasn't got its heart melted by this little girl behind me. Fuck no, I have diabetes. To understand Daniel's success, however, we need to dig a bit deeper into her origins, aka the masterpiece that she originated from, Spy X Family. Or just Spy Family if you're an edgy Hunter Hunter fan. Now, if you just discovered Spy X Family and you loved it, your life is probably going to be hell because every manga fan in the near vicinity will hunt you down just to bring up this one conversation. Bro, did you just like discover the Spy Family just now? Like, I just... I read the manga like in 2011, but in 2011 the manga wasn't out yet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to test you, you know. But other than that, the series is an absolute banger, perfecting the wholesome slice of life genre that has been reappearing in the last two years with series like Komi-san and Kaguya-sama, and most recently My Dress Up Darling. The concept is simple, the spy named Lloyd Forger has to create a fake family for his mission. By doing that, he recruits his daughter Anya and his wife Yor. Together, this fake family slowly develops into a real family. Now, I won't go into the detail for Yor or Lloyd in this video since I may do another video specifically for them. However, we will be taking a look at Anya's backstory. She was a test subject of a secret lab that experimented with children to give them psychic abilities and to use them for military purposes in the war. At least that's what I assume since that point has not been cleared up yet. Anya was a success as an experiment and can hence read minds. However, Anya is not treated very well in this place as you might imagine and she escapes to an orphanage in search for someone to take care of her. <laughs> So fucking touching. <laughs> now, as you may assume, just the story alone may be enough for you to emphasize with her character. But to quote that one vegetable from Dragon Ball Z, Spike's family went even further beyond. Yeah, I just said that. The first episode shows us how Joyce of personality Anya really is. Around Lloyd, she is always cheerful and happy while admiring him and wanting to play pranks on him. Now, just from this, you should be able to see why she seems so relatable. Her relationship with Floyd in the first episode already feels like father and daughter relationship. And it feels believable and natural and not forced at all. And that's what's so amazing about the writing in Spike's family. Now, it may come as a surprise to you, but I don't actually have a daughter. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm 21 and I don't have a girlfriend, so... Uh, you know, doing the math, it seems strange that I don't have a daughter, right? Either way, to relate more to Anya, I decided to get my own Anya. And this is how it went. Uh, yeah, hello. I would like to adopt a 3 foot 2 size uh, female psychic girl. If you have her with maybe pink hair and green eyes. Oh, uh, and if you, if you have her with hair accessories that maybe resemble like black horns, that would be optimal. Um, sir, this is a pizza hut. It is also very apparent that Tatsuya Endo put a lot of detail into Anya's character, since we see the daily family life mostly through her eyes. Her character design is heavily inspired through Tatsuya's previous works, Rengoku no Ash. I don't know if you pronounce it by the way, like I'm a scrap at Japanese, so please don't bully me in the comments. In fact, if you look at the main character and Anya side by side, Anya just seems like the chibi version of it. Anya is not the only character, however, in Spike's family that seems to be inspired by Tatsuya's previous work. Look at Gekka Bijin's main character. She kind of looks like Yor. Now, keep in mind, this is just speculation by my part. This is not confirmed whatsoever. It's just what I noticed reading it. In fact, it almost feels like since this is Tatsuya's breakout hit that he wanted to incorporate all his previous manga pieces somehow into Spike's family, almost to remind himself how far he has come and how much he has written to finally get to this point and release such a banger. I feel like Tatsuya therefore shows a lot of respect for his characters because let's be honest, making those characters shit would literally mean shitting on his own legacy and I personally don't think that he wants to do that. Now, I went on a little bit of a tangent there, but I feel like knowing some interesting Anya trivia is never a bad thing. Also, if you want a more detailed look into Spike's family's author, I highly recommend Yiman. He is a YouTuber and he covers a lot of different manga artists' backstory. I'll leave his link in the description if you want to check him out. Now, to summarize why Anya is adored by so many, I would like to start with bullet points. First, Wholesomeness. She's an adorable, childish and naive character and she just wants to be loved and is in search of a place to call home. I mean, come on, that's already like 
90% of the normal anime characters that just lose to that fact alone. Second, rough childhood. Now, after we see her adorable character in the show, we see her rough childhood and just seeing this traumatic experience from her makes you want to see her succeed and just pamper her and give her what she justly deserves. Third, great character chemistry. Now, in my opinion, that's like the most important thing. She plays off jokes very well and she feels like part of the family from episode one. And since we experience a lot of character exposition, through her, it almost makes you feel like you experience the shit that happens in Spike's family with her and not just watching her. Couple those with a great and easy character design and you have fantastic fan art, fantastic and hilarious memes and also a great mascot for the series in general. Now with that, I'm gonna leave it at that and that's all for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed and don't want this little Anna over, over there to smack your ass with her, fantastic physique then you may subscribe and even like the video and if you're so kind you can even share it with a friend or so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye